Hey guys, it's Rob with Aquatic Aesthetics. We've got an unboxing to do, but today I am changing the format and how I do things. We are not going to unbox. We've already got them out of the box and into specimen containers where you can see them a little better. So these guys here, these are white cloud minnows. We'll go ahead and get those guys put in the tank. And moving on, we have cherry bars. They came in, they're looking real nice. We've got males and females in there. After them, we have gold barbs. Looking real good. Here's some that have been in the tank for a little while in case you're curious and there's some cherries back there as well and so let's move on and we've got a special order here and these are blue tetras something new for us we hadn't done we may consider those in the future and let's work our way around we have the teeny tiny chili rasboras showing a little bit of their red already coming out and they're looking good so we're gonna throw some salt water right in the mix we've got some zoas that came in yep you can't see much they're not gonna show you much of anything We've got a pistol shrimp. He's looking good and active. He is a special. We've got algae eating a mono shrimp. They're hidden all up in those rubber bands there. And the last one, let's get him some light because this guy looked pre pretty interesting from what I'm hearing. This is an assorted clown goby and just not getting much color to him. Let's, let's go sunlight and see what we get. Uh, not too much better. He's got beautiful markings and color. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. Looking real nice. So let's move into the other room. And we'll start with the biggest and end with the smallest. How about that? So, right there. Well, I know that's not the one you're looking for. That is. This is a snowflake eel, and guys, he is big. I'm putting him probably 15, 18 inches easy. Real good size to him. Let's work our way around. And we have some spotted Raphaels. These guys are you see the striped Raphaels all the time. The spotteds are a little bit more difficult to come by. And we have Pandagaras, an unbelievable algae eater. Guys, I can't recommend these more than... I, I just can't recommend them more. Um, they are a heck of an algae eater. They are not nocturnal. They will be out all day long doing just that, sucking on the glass, sucking on the bottom. Here's another one that I am very excited about. Been looking for these guys for a while. Some of you know what those are. Those are orange lasers, green striped Aeneas, or excuse me, orange striped Aeneas. And looking real good, great size to them. I mean, they're about the size of a full-grown guppy. Looking real good. All right, and we've got one more for fresh water. 
And this one, I'm real excited about. Let's lift these guys up so we don't have any other fish in the way. Okay, well that didn't help much because of the stuff on the outside. So let's do it this way. So you're gonna have to fight through the endlers to see these guys. These are Paroctosynculus SP3s. They are a beautiful autosynculus variety. A Paroctosynculus starts with a P, P A R, and then Octosynculus. And you get these little guys. They are stunning. And they will go fast. So I know, because. Half of them are already spoken for. And now, well, we, looks like we didn't get these guys out of a bag. We'll look at them how they are. These are bleeding heart tetras. They get that nice red spot on the side, hence the bleeding heart part. And then we've got some salt water. Not a whole bunch. We've got the Mandarin gobies. Had three of these guys come in. They are small, so this guy's about an inch and a half total length. But look at beautiful. And over here, we've got the yellow watchman goby. They were a shrimp goby. We've got three of those guys that came in. And then some fighting conks. Uh, these are um, your dwarf conks. They don't get very large. And they pretty much only fight themselves. Their, their name isn't as bad as it sounds. All right, guys, well, that's it for today. I'm going to leave you with a shot of this guy again, because just wow. But we've got these guys unbagged, so I guess now we just need to get them in the water and then get this video uploaded. Until then, guys, I'll see you at the store. But don't forget, this Saturday, big things going on here. Swap me. We're going to have fish mania up here. We've got a guy coming in from Kentucky, uh, people from Alabama, Atlanta. Guys, this is going to be big. 11 to 2. Come see us.